Thanks for joining us for your news at 10. The Orangeburg County Coroner's Office confirms the human remains found near Holly Hill earlier this month are those of Melissa Aguilar, who has been missing since August. An ex-boyfriend reported her missing on August 18th, according to the Sheriff's Office. Investigators believe she left a home on Four Wind Road after an argument. Her body was later found off of that road. Nick Neville has been covering the case. He has more after pressing the sheriff for answers today. Sheriff Ravenel laid out a timeline on Tuesday afternoon detailing what's been done in the investigation into Aguilar's disappearance since August, mentioning several unconfirmed possible sightings by Aguilar by the complainant, none of which turned up anything. What was also notable is what the sheriff couldn't say. He noted he had a conversation with family members before the press conference. They explained to him that they'd just gotten confirmation from the coroner's office that the remains were Aguilar's. Coroner Samuetta Marshall confirming that information with WIS, but Sheriff Leroy Ravenel acknowledged that he hadn't called the coroner before the presser and gotten that confirmation about the positive ID. I just wish that I had the information that they had given me before I, you know, before I called this press conference, to be honest with you. Because, what do you mean they, by that? because they gave me information that apparently someone from the coroner's office called them and gave them. Um, uh, don't you think that's a kind of. Uh, a breakdown in communication as far as, well, you probably wouldn't say it, but I, I say that the you family. Think, you think there's a breakdown in communication between you and the coroner's office? Uh, well, not think it. It, it, had to, it has to be. Coroner Marshall saying they made that determination based on dental records. As for those possible sightings, the sheriff says someone reported seeing Aguilar at a gas station in August. A lieutenant responded to no avail. Then in December, someone reported seeing Aguilar at a homeless shelter. Sheriff says the shelter had no record of her being there. If it was some foul play, then um, you can be assured that we'll find out um, and we will have somebody in custody if there was some foul play. Sheriff's office says they've identified a person of interest. And they collected cell phone evidence from that person in late December. We talked to him. We had enough reason um, to think that we need to get this phone and we need to get this DV, uh, DVR and, um, and analyze it. So um, you can call it a person of interest, a suspect. I wouldn't call it a suspect because we don't have uh, anything to say he's a suspect on now, but I didn't want to get behind, and I didn't want to say that I should have got this um, in the past. You know, look back, and I can't, I can't look back and be a Sunday um, uh, quarterback on a Monday morning for a Sunday game. Family members also saying that Tuesday was the first time that they spoke to the sheriff since this investigation began. Reporting in Orangeburg County, Nick Neville, WIS News 10.